today's video is a very sad and unexpected one. One of my sloths being on Halloween night actually had a miscarriage. Her baby has sadly passed away. What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day. Now before I hop into today's video, well I just want to say thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Now if you guys saw the title and thumbnail, well today's video is a very sad and unexpected one. One of my sloths being on Halloween night actually had a miscarriage. Her baby has sadly passed away. It was so sad and really I had no idea that Bean was even a girl. I was told Bean was a boy when I got him, but Bean is actually a girl. I'm not going to go into too much detail about what happened to the baby, how I found it, but I am going to show all of you guys the footage in just a little bit. Now if you guys want to see the footage of when I found this dead baby sloth, if you want to see how they're doing now, well guys, you are in the right place. But before I hop into any of that, well I've got to show you guys the sloth's new enclosure that I've been working on. Well guys, we're here, and this is the new Sloth's home. If you guys have been watching the channel, we've kind of shown it off in a couple of videos. We got the dogs barking. We've shown it off in a couple of videos, but it is pretty much complete. This is a massive upgrade from what they're already in, and what they're already in is pretty amazing, but this is gonna be absolutely incredible. It's a large area with a nice roof, so they can escape the rain, especially if it's raining and it's cold out, they can escape it. So guys, let's go on inside. I can't wait to show you the design. So I wanted, I basically designed this cage from square one. I'm gonna show you a picture right now on the screen of what it looked like before. And then obviously now you see it like this. It looks incredible. So this is the entrance right here. We have not made the doors yet. We gotta make the doors. There's some final touches that we have to do. So you're gonna have one door here. You're gonna open it on up. There's gonna be a double door entry right here. And then voila, we're here. We're in and it is massive. I think this high point right here has gotta be about I would say it's gotta be around 10 feet tall at the highest point. So the cage starts down here and it goes up on a slant all the way up here. And I've actually been painting it. We gotta paint all the wire on here to give it that brown color. And also right here on the floor, we're gonna be painting it. And I'm thinking maybe we're gonna put some sort of a little pond right here. And I'm thinking I could recruit my buddy Paul Caffaro to do the pond if you guys know Paul. You know Paul is an expert at ponds. So Paul, if you're watching this, we might need a pond in here for the sloth. So if you see it, Give me a call. So that's what I'm planning on doing, putting a little pond there, putting some plants, and the sloths are going in here. And we just mapped this out. Because these sloths are from South America, they're used to the warmer climate, they cannot take the cold. And here in South Florida, some nights in my area will get down into the 40s. So we just designed this big box right here. We're gonna be building a big winter box, a heated box. So we've got this big box. I mean, it, to the tape kind of fell down, but basically it's gonna be going to like here. It's gonna be a big old winter box. It's going to be absolutely incredible. Now guys, let me know what you think of this new enclosure. I think it's incredible. I think it's amazing. We're going to be decorating it, putting branches. We're going to be putting all kinds of crazy stuff in here. But this enclosure is not what today's video is about. Today's video is quite hard. It's quite sad. Um, if you saw the title and thumbnail, you will know that one of my sloths has passed away. Well, not Bean, not Suki, not Sid, but actually Bean's kid. Bean had a miscarriage. That's all I'm going to tell you for right now. Bean was thought to be a boy. I thought Bean was the boy of the group, but apparently Bean is a girl, so we're still gonna name him Bean. I gotta figure out which one is the male with Sloss. If you know Sloss, it's really hard to find out which one's a boy, which one is a girl. So guys, we're gonna head inside. I'm sure you're wondering what happened to the baby, how did it die, what it looked like. Well guys, I'm gonna show you all that, but we gotta head inside and make the Sloss food. Gosh, hi, give me the paw, give me the paw. Oh my gosh, yeah. Paw? Yeah. Can I see the paw? Oh, look at those teeth. Look at the pearly white. <laughs> well, we're inside right now, and we are getting ready to prepare our sloth food. Now, I'm sure you guys are just so concerned about being how this miscarriage happened. I mean, right now, if everything went according to plan, we would have a baby sloth right now, but we'll talk about that in just a bit. We've got to prepare their food. We've got to make sure that these sloths are staying happy and healthy. So to get started, the base for our sloth diet is going to be some green leaf lettuce. So I always look through the lettuce. If there's any bad spots on the lettuce, we want to make sure that there's no brown spots, anything black on there. I mean, this has already been pre-rinsed. But anything black, anything brown could have some nasty bacteria. We don't want that at all. This just looks like it got a little cold. But we're just going to kind of put this in here. The sloths in the wild, they eat a lot of leaves. So we're going to give them 
a bunch of this lettuce right here. All right, this is looking good. We've got our lettuce. Let's get one last little piece of lettuce here. See, there's one bad piece right there, so we're just gonna pull that off there. We're gonna pull the bottom off. This looks to be nice and delicious. So we've got our greens right here. Now we're gonna add some squash. Now we don't have a lot of squash right here, so we're actually going to take the squash right here. Well, we gotta go buy some more, but we're gonna cut these in half so we get four pieces out of this right here. We got four pieces of squash, we're gonna do two in one, two in the other. Now another part of our diet is going to be some fresh chopped zucchini. The, the sloths love the zucchini, we're gonna put about yay much zucchini in there. And we're gonna put about yay much in this bowl. Now the sloths, they primarily eat vegetables. The sloths really don't eat a whole lot of fruits. The fruits can actually upset their stomach. And it's just not good for them long term. And we've got some sweet potatoes here. And we're gonna put about that much in there, that much in there. And now for our leaf eater biscuits. So not only do the sloths get these leafy greens, but they also get these right here. These right here are leaf eater biscuits that are designed for leaf eating primates, but we give it to the sloths too, and they absolutely love it. Now the sloths don't really like them super hard, so we're just gonna slightly moisten them just like that, just a little bit. We're gonna put about yay much in there. We're gonna put a couple more in there. Let's add about two more in there. Let's get a little wet right here. We want it to have a slight crunch to them. So now that we've got our food right here, well guys, let's go outside and I'll show you my sloths. One minute, 37 seconds later. We're out here, we have our bowls, and here is Bean. Now for the longest time, I was told Bean was the boy of the group, and with sloths, again, it's really hard to tell, but Bean is actually a girl. She had a miscarriage, so let's put our food right here, in here for them. Now we wanna feed them. Hey Bean, I'm so sorry about your child. I'm so sorry, I wish we could have a baby sloth. Here, come here, boy. Or come here, girl. Bean, come here. This is my favorite way to feed them. Hi, have a sweet potato bean. Come on, one, two, up. Oh. oh, so yummy, so good. And then we have Miss Sid right here. Sid, come here. So the sloths are gonna wanna go for the sweet potatoes first. And the sloths are actually the slowest mammals on earth. So to actually have these guys literally living right off my house. If you guys are new here, yeah, the sloths literally live off the house. If you look right here, this is my house. This literally leads inside. That's the inside of my house, and here are the sloths. But again, the sloths are moving to a much bigger habitat. This is just gonna be for baby animals that I have. So the sloths are enjoying a snack, and where? Where is Suki? Hey Suki, what's up? Suki's coming out of the barrel. Now guys, I'm sure you're wondering how I found this miscarriage. Well, a couple of nights ago, Bean was actually sitting right here. And I noticed that there was some blood right here and there was some ants. So when I saw that blood, I knew that something was wrong. So I got my flashlight. I started coming out here and I was shining all the sloths and I noticed that blood was coming for Bean. And when I noticed that blood, I knew that there was only a couple of things that could be going on. Number one, I potentially thought that Bean could have mated with one of the other sloths, and that's why there was blood. I thought that Bean could then be a girl and had a period. Or three, there was a baby on the way. So I was a little bit concerned. This was the night of October 30th. Bean was acting normal. She was active, she was eating food, so I did, wasn't worrying too much, and at this point, it was 11 o'clock at night, all the vets were closed. So come Halloween night, I come outside, and you guys are not going to believe what I found. I'm gonna show you the video in a second. I can't believe that that came out of you, girl. But we've got Miss Suki coming right now, but we gotta give Suki something. Hey, Sooks, come here. Suki, look at this sloth right here, absolutely insane. So incredible to have him right here. We got one boy and two girls now. I gotta figure out which one's the boy now. I'm thinking it might be Sid, because I was told Beam was it. But guys, I'm gonna show you the video in just a second. When I came out here, it literally looked like an alien. Now, I'm gonna have to blur the video a little bit, because if I show you what it actually looked like, I might get a yellow dollar sign, and I don't want that to happen. But guys, I'm gonna roll the video right now. You guys will get to see it. It was pretty gnarly, pretty nasty. I couldn't believe this came out. And when I saw this, I knew that, well, it had to be a placenta. The placenta is basically the nutrient pouch that the baby is within, that the baby is attached to, which gives the baby of any animal, whether it be a tiger, a lion, a human, all the necessary nutrients to actually develop. And for some reason, this placenta that was inside of Bean did not develop the right way. And, and, and she had a miscarriage. It's so sad to think there was a baby sloth developing inside of Sweet Bean, my favorite sloth here. 
and that it passed away. I'm not sure how it happened, but we have the placenta. We're actually going to be taking the placenta to the vet. He's going to be looking at it, trying to figure out why this happened. But hopefully the next time around, the next breeding cycle, this won't happen again. Hopefully we'll have a baby sloth and well, we won't have a tragedy happen. Now there is some good news here. Even though Bean had a miscarriage, well, one of these other sloths could be pregnant. And if I had to guess, this right here is another female because the females are generally larger. And if you look, she's huge, she's big, and we could be expecting a baby from this big girl right here. I'm not sure if, if Suki is a boy or a girl, we'll have to look. But from my guess, she is definitely a girl. She's got a beautiful coat, absolutely amazing. So we could have a baby sloth from Suki, but guys, we're gonna have to wait. So if you guys wanna be notified when we do have a baby sloth here, well guys, if you're not subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button down below. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching today's video, but before we go today, I have a special message from today's sponsor. And I just want to say thank you once again to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace gives you a beautiful and powerful online platform in which you guys can create your very own website. With Squarespace, you're able to connect with your audience and generate revenue through gated members only content. With this all in one easy to use platform, you're able to actually manage your members, send email communications and even leverage your audience insights. I mean, with Squarespace, you can literally create your very own community right on your Squarespace website. And if this sounds like something that you guys are interested in. well guys all you got to do is go right now to squarespace.com you'll get a free trial and when you're ready to launch your very own website or domain well guys go to squarespace.com slash jacob fetter and you guys will receive 10 percent off and well that is going to end today's episode i hope you guys did enjoy watching today's sloth video as sad as it was that bean had a miscarriage well there is hope that there is another baby on the way so if you guys did enjoy today's video please make sure to give this video a thumbs up comment down below a prayer for Bean's baby. And guys, if you're not subscribed yet, again, you wanna see if we have more sloths. You wanna know how Bean does? Well guys, go right now, hit the subscribe button, tap that little notification bell, and you all be notified whenever I post.